Now then people and welcome back to the Just Joe football show and it's time for another Leeds United update. I've missed you so long, it's like a bus in it, you wait for a bus then two come at once. Listen, I've got plenty, plenty links, plenty, plenty transfer videos all sat there lined up ready to go. What I want to do for you is to give me a thousand likes on this video and I will release another transfer linked video by tonight tea time. This one though, I'm really, really excited by. So I had to just film this and get this one out as soon as possible because sources in Germany are telling us that Leeds United are targeting Bayern Munich's Mark Roca, formerly of Espanyol, and we are looking to increase our midfield options. And let me just put it out there before anyone starts to worry. Leeds United identified him as a target in January. It's only one way just hearing about now. Um, but this arrival of Rocker, if we indeed can get it done, will not impact the future of one Calvin Phillips, who we know is heavily linked to Manchester City. Speculation continues to surround Phillips. Really won't he? I believe he stays at least for one more season. But the good thing that we're hearing from Leeds United and anyone in and around the camp is that Rocker is not being targeted as a replacement for him. So even if KP was to be sold, God forbid, let's hope and pray, we would still then go and acquire another midfielder, okay, beyond Rocker to fill that gap. This isn't a ready-made, steadfast replacement for Calvin Phillips. That isn't what this is. But Legion United know they need to strengthen their midfield. We know that, right? The last time we signed one was for sure, about nine windows ago. Click doesn't look like he's a Jesse Marsh type player. We have issues with injuries. If Dallas is going to fill there, I don't think Shackleton's going to make the grade. We're light. We're light in this area. We know we need a midfielder. We've tried many, many times. Mickey Cuisance, Louis O'Brien, but it looks like this one has legs. I'm very, very big legs. And Legion United, I ain't messing about. We ain't messing about. Brendan Aronson in the door. Uh, Rasmus Christensen in the door and we're now looking to go to the German champions for our next acquisition and we're looking to bring Rocker into Ellen Road, increasing that competition and support for England international Calvin Phillips. Look, Rocker is 25 and has, he's only two years into a five-year contract at Bayern Munich. Can you be like, well, why are, why are Bayern willing to sell? Well, there are a number of reasons and it does have a, a, a definite taste of an auto-type signing. And let's hope it goes the, a, a good way as opposed to a fur pot. And I'll, I'll mention that in a bit. But look, he's believed to be available uh, for a fee in the region of £10 million again. Savvy business, cheap business for a player that prior to his move to Bayern Munich was smashing it in the Liga. Sources close uh, to the player in Germany say that West Ham United have also been monitoring the Spaniard. And look, West Ham, again, another top side playing in Europe. It may be difficult to get the deal done if indeed it is between us and West Ham, but it shows that this player is well thought of. Um, Look, he made uh, more than 100 appearances during his time in La Liga with Espanyol and was also part of the Spain uh, international squad who won the European Under-21 Championships back in 2019. Now, his opportunities at Bayern have been limited, um, accounting to just six league outings last season and nine this season. OK, that doesn't make for great reading. I understand that. Um, but listen, he's got stiff competition at Bayern. Yeah, they're a top, top side. We know that, right? Um, but before Espanyol's relegation and his Bayern move, uh, Mark Rocco was was smashing it over in La Liga um, at, at the base of a La Liga midfield. Um, definitely someone, when given time on the ball, can get his foot on the ball and steady the tempo and pick valuable forward passes, uh, which is what we need. There is a caveat to that is because obviously our Leeds United going to play a possession-based style under Jesse Marsh and therefore will he be able to have that time we've seen like Calvin Phillips game not be as good under Jesse that's facts right we've seen that um so will he suit the style I, I would hope so maybe Jesse is going to switch it up and um, we've seen him do that uh towards the back end of the season but it's definitely a signing that that does get me excited and one for the amount of money like 10 million pounds um for him is, is great business um, you know, I've seen uh, a number of tactician sites all, all over on Twitter in the last 10, 15 minutes say that for a number six, you can't, you'll struggle to find anyone better than him for £10 million. He's a progressive 
uh, passer, ball carrier, puts himself about de defensively. And uh, and for me and for many others, it's someone that we should be going all out for, for the fee that we'll be expected to pay in just £10 million. Um, in his last season at Espanyol, before he's moved to Bayern Munich, and remember, like if you're moving to Bayern, yeah, you're, you're not a joke of a footballer. OK, it's not worked out. But you you ain't rubbish, um, and there is a caveat to that, and we will get that right. We will get that because I can hear you all now saying, "What about Julia? He played at Barca, and I hear it. I do. I hear it." Um, but in his last season at Espanyol, he played the most progressive passes, won the most tackles, had the second most shot creating actions, second most passes under pressure, most interceptions, highest distance carried with the ball. Um, so the, the nucleus there of a top player is there. He's 25 year old. He's got his prime years ahead of him. Leeds United are doing savvy business for me, not spending massive amounts. And you've got to remember as well that if a Calvin or a Fini goes, we then still have a lot to play with. We're not going out and, and, and doing what we've done with a Dan James and with a Rodrigo where we spent big money. Yeah, big money for these players that, for me, haven't worked out. I know there's still time for Dan and, look, for me, Rodrigo, I'm not too sure. Um, maybe he could be one of the outgoing uh, players. We'll we'll have to wait and see. Um, but I think Leeds United are doing good business and looking to acquire players at, at, at cut-down prices, um, you know, that, that have potential and have played at the top of the game. Now, of course, as I mentioned, there is a big caveat. Like, are Leeds United going to be suited to this lad's uh, style of play. Um, you know, he works better in a possession-heavy team. Will we be that under Jesse Marsh? You know, we like to play with the count press, in effect, giving the opposition the ball and winning it back off them, feeding off the scraps that they give. Um, I see, uh, uh, for me, OK, it's not the idealistic football I'd like to play, but we've seen against Brentford the amount of times that Melier would pop it out to the right back who was cock at the time. He would win the knock-ons and it'd be Rafinha, it'd be Rodrigo and we'd be going, you know, and, and, and I think we'll see more of that, especially with Rasmus Christensen in that side. I think that's something that we might look to adopt. Um, but we, we have to, we have to take these things into consideration. Yes. Great money, great player, great prospect, 10 million pound, other clubs wanting him. Um, it, it makes business sense. Is there a better number six out there for the price that we'll pay for him? Probably is not. But he has only had 500 league minutes in two years, right? Two years. Um, and we know it's a similar sort of, sort of story for Junior Furpo. And we know how that hasn't worked. Of course, the club are still banking on that working. He still has time on his side. I know a lot of us as fans would say, Junior, bye. We're going to get some new left back or at least get competition there. Doesn't look like we're doing that. It looks like it's Junior Firpo and done. We're settling on that. And that's why I say that it's got a very Victor Orta style feel to it, hasn't it? Someone that's moved on, not really done well, has the 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 the, the skill set there initially. So let's go back in and hopefully he can reinvigorate his career at Leeds United. Um, it didn't work out for Junior. Maybe it will work out for Matt Rocco. You have to take these risks. Is it a risk? I don't really think so for the amount that we'll pay for him. Um, but you could, you know, there'll be certain sections of the fan base that will want us to go spend 30, 40 million on a marquee signing, which isn't always, you know, uh, realistic and doable. Um, but yeah, only 500 league minutes in two years. Um, but he is certainly someone that is a progressive player and retains the ball well. Um, and look, it's one that I think would be a great signing. Um, we need a midfielder. That would be the next for me. You know, we've, we've brought in a right back. That's going to mean reduced minutes for the likes of Ailing and Drama and Dallas, etc. But we're moving on. Yeah, we're making we're taking the next steps. You know, we we've acquired um, Brendan Aronson, one of them wide cameras. What we needed next was a centre midfielder and a striker. We know that the club were after Eddie Nketiah. We're linked to some strikers. I'm going to bring them videos to you a little bit later on as well. But it looks like the next one that we're further down the road with is going to be this centre midfielder. And it is going to be Mark Rocker uh, from Bayern Munich for a cut down price of £10 million. And as I mentioned, this guy has some great numbers prior to his move to Bayern. And let's be honest, Bayern Munich are stats. Yeah, they have some fantastic players it's going to be hard to break into their side. But they are no mugs, right? They're going to sign decent players. And that's things you have to take into consideration when you are looking at these sort of deals. And, um, you know, as has been said on social media by an Everton fan, you know, there isn't really a better number six out there for this sort of price. 
Um, and I think Leeds United's business so far has been great. And I think this would be another fantastic addition to what is now becoming a better all-round stacked depth worthy Premier League squad. Yeah. Bielsa turned water into wine. We're now coming and bringing players that are already there. Yeah. They've already been through the great vining process and they're already like wine. Yeah. They're just not 45. They're not, not matured enough where you, you know, it's not a 1944 Chateau pop. Do you know what I mean? Whatever that is. But you get what I'm saying. You get the analogy. Yeah. We're not buying water anymore. We're buying, we're, they're already on that road. Yeah. I don't know what the word is for a halfway between water and wine. Don't know. I don't think there is one. But yeah, I'm excited by this signing of Mark Rocco. Uh, watch this space. And like I say, like this video. Get a thousand likes. I'll drop another video this evening for you as well. Thank you, as always, for watching the show. It's been great to be back. I've had some time off, but now we're back. Fit, ready, raring to go, as I say about players. We're doing this. Thank you for watching, as always. Peace out. Lizzie, please.